Oh my god, why are you doing this? Are you aware that you're gonna piss off a bunch of people? You're messing with a fandom, and it's gonna get ugly, and it's gonna get really bad, and then you're gonna get fucked, and- Matrix Resurrections. Oh boy, is this video gonna be a doozy. <sighs> I was originally going to do a much more neutral review of sorts, but as I started going through YouTube and Reddit and seeing the reactions, I decided to change gears a bit and address some of the criticisms. There's a lot of crazy discourse right now. Like, even in my first version of this review, I mentioned that this one might be more polarizing than revolutions. A day later and a fuck ton of videos completely destroying this movie popped down on my YouTube search. There are a lot of strong words being thrown around. And that grinds my gears a little bit. So I want to offer a balanced counterpoint. Because yes, I did like this movie. Now before I start, I want to make three things perfectly clear. Number one, if you didn't like it, if you fucking hated it, that's fine. I'm not here to convince you otherwise. My objective, once again, is to offer a counterpoint. You're free to completely disagree with every word I say here. Again, that's fine. Number two, for those who haven't watched it. If you've been hearing this casting reviews and feeling disenchanted and motivated to give this movie a try, this video is for you. There might be light spoilers because I will address some of the complaints, but almost, if not all, are already present in the trailers. So unless you've kept yourself completely blind up until now, you're gonna be fine here. And the third thing is, I was never the biggest Matrix show. I really loved the first movie. The other two, eh, not so much. However, I went to watch this with two huge fans, and we all enjoyed it a lot. I'm putting this out there so that you understand where I might be coming from in some parts, and to also reinforce what I just said. This is a divisive film, and everyone should watch it and form their own opinions. We good? Good. Let's do it. First thing I want to say is, there is a lot packed in two hours and something. Resurrections at times feels like two films in one. And this is kind of a double-edged knife, because the plot, while a bit off in the pacing department, does try to keep you engaged at all times. The first act is super meta, there are a lot of references to past movies, especially the first one, and it isn't afraid to look at the audience and poke fun at the franchise as a whole. And this pissed off a lot of people, apparently? It's so weird to see a movie where the most contentious chunk is right at the beginning, but here we are. I get some of those complaints. I don't necessarily agree with them, but I can respect that. However, some people have been talking about it like it's some sort of subversion for subversion's sake. Like it's just doing it for its shits and giggles and to take a piss at the fandom. Others have complained that the meta commentary is too on the nose and a complete betrayal of how Matrix dealt with its themes. But here's the catch. I think that's the point. It's in your face purposefully. It's not a secret that Lena Wachowski has not enjoyed some interpretations of Matrix, how her work might have got twisted along the way by the media and the fandom. So a direct commentary would be exactly the opposite of what you'd expect of the trilogy. Blunt and right to your face. This is not a betrayal of Matrix or a cheap subversion, this is the creator explicitly going against what the franchise had done before to make her point. Now, there's no way to misinterpret her story, no hidden meaning, you're getting what you're seeing. And you might hate what she's doing here, or what she has to say, that's fair. But as a filmmaker, part of me can avoid but respect that. A creator really pushing to take control back over their work. And personally, I had some good laughs seeing those jokes about sequels, reboots, and even the freaking Game Awards, so I don't know. I think what bothers me is when people try to justify their dislike by underselling the themes of this movie. Like it was phoned in with the only intention of pissing off the fandom and making a generic blockbuster. When Matrix Resurrections is anything but that. Another complaint I've seen being thrown out there is that some characters are too jokey for their own good. And by that I mean three characters specifically. Agent Smith, the new Morpheus and the character played by Neil Patrick Harris. Don't worry, I'm not gonna spoil him here. And what I'm about to say might piss off a lot of people, but personally... I was never a big fan of the stiff acting of the original trilogy. I'm not saying it's bad, it's the style of those movies, I understand that. But it's one I was never that much into. It was sometimes weird having these bigger than life moments and cartoonish action played completely straight by everyone. And I do think that the criticism against the new Morpheus in particular is a bit unfair. Because like it or not, he's not Morpheus. He's a new emulated version of him. One that has a role to play for Neo in the beginning and then after that, 
is allowed to develop more of a personality. So I've been struggling to understand why he bothered so much people. And if I'm being completely honest, seeing characters being able to crack a joke here and there was just nice. It felt like everyone was having fun for a change. Now since I'm talking about characters, might as well mention the acting, which I felt was good to great everywhere. It was a joy to see the old actors jump back into their iconic roles and evolve with it in interesting ways. Carrie Ann Moss was a badass, had a great arc here. Keanu Reeves as well, he's been improving as an actor and it feels like he was allowed to go weirder this time around. And their love story is easily the strongest part of this movie, why are not more people talking about that? The relationship on the original trilogy always felt a bit incomplete, stale, yet here it feels engaging, honest in a way that when a certain scene in the third act happened, I had fucking chills man. And again, this is coming from someone who's never been that passionate about Matrix. Anyways, I digress. Back to the actors, the newcomers also really impressed me. Like Bugs, a character that I believe everyone has unanimously enjoyed, she's kind of a co-lead and a cipher for the audience, but Jessica Henwick injects so much charm and charisma that I think she's my favorite character of the movie. And as much as people hated them, Yahia Abdul-Mateen did a good job as a new Morpheus, and I enjoyed how Jonathan Groff made Agent Smith snarkier and more devilish in some ways. I have my opinions on why he's the way he is now, but this video is already too long and I don't want to kick another hornet's nest. Now, to not be a complete contrarian, I will concede some things. First, the action. <sighs> yeah, they're my biggest pet beef with this movie. It's so bizarre to criticize this about a Matrix film, but with one or another exception, the action sequences here are of the shaky camera style, which I've really grown to dislike. And I don't know why Lana Wachowski chose this approach. Again, this is Matrix, a series that has always been very methodical and clinical when it came to action. Long shots, elaborate choreography and all that stuff. But here it is choppy, chaotic. There were some sequences where I couldn't understand what was going on the screen. It's not exactly horrible, the final battle I fought it was kind of balls to the wall insane in the best ways, but outside of that, the action feels, I don't know, underwhelming? especially considering what this franchise has achieved in the genre before. Also, the second act, it does get a bit messy. I love some of the world building there, and I do think that the movie improves when the third act starts, where we get a lot of catharsis. But for a chunk there, there was this weird back and forth that, in retrospect, didn't work as good as it should've. Now, regarding the visuals and CGI, I gotta be honest, I thought they were fine? I know some people miss the cool aesthetic, the green palette that the trilogy had, I miss that too, but at the same time, considering the new angle this movie is aiming for, coupled with the fact that the cleaner, brighter visuals never detract from the story, I was also never bothered by it. I can understand some folks being annoyed by some of the CGI, but for the most part, I thought it did its job. Also, before I go into closing arguments, I have to offer some high praise to the score. I love how the new composers Tom Tickwer and Johnny Climac embraced the soundscape of the original films and evolved beyond it, the brass and the orchestra marrying with this fast-paced electronic beats, and the end result was fan-fucking-tastic. Now, to close this scatterbrained video, I gotta be clear, I get where most people are coming from. Like really, I truly, truly do. This movie is kind of a mess, lesser ones have broken under the pressure of such problems. But the execution here is so earnest, so honest, that I'm willing to forgive these issues and enjoy myself. Forget the heady, big brain themes, this movie also has an infecting optimism. It has a lot about love and hope that just charmed the socks out of me. Frankly, it feels like a great epilogue to the Matrix trilogy. Now, will you agree with me? Again, don't know, can say, and the possibility that people are gonna tell me to go fuck myself is big. There is still a lot to mull over this film, and I really can't predict how the consensus on Resurrections is gonna be 5-10 years from now. I do think people need to calm down, because my god, I think since The Last Jedi I haven't seen so much discourse on the internet. But anyways, have you not watched it yet? Then ignore me, ignore the haters, the fans, the critics, every fucking one, and go watch it. Make up your own mind over it. And if you did, tell me what you thought about it on the comments below. Just please keep it civil and don't kill me. And as always, see you next time.